Hi, in this video today I will show you how to work with adaptive or responsive view in Azure. Okay, so now let's get started. And here I'm going to create new pet. I will name it e adaptive view. Okay, I open this one to view the detail. And then on this page, I'm going to create some item here. I have a heading on the top. And for the, I will have a image, an image. Image and paragraph. And then I will name this one a product listing. Okay, I make the uh, this one is smaller. Working area is smaller, and then I copy the image and take Dupli uh, duplicate duplicate it here. Put it here. Okay. Okay, I save it up. And here you click on the right preview button here to view this on browser. Okay. So here, when you view this on browser here, we have a product listing. And if we keep this browser in this side, it looks better. But when we mini minimize this one, uh, when, when we resize the side of browser, and here, so the image is not responsive on the browser. Okay. And then in this video today, I will guide you how to make this one a responsive on browser. So that means when the user view is on the browser, if the image is responsive or the content in in the browser page is responsive, so it will make the user conf feeling comfortable. Okay. And back to the Azure. And you click on the project menu and select the adaptive view set. Okay, so here in this pop-up, you click on add button. Yeah. We have some the preset here. Is the option for you to select. You have some view in web, Apple, and and Android. Yeah. For the web, I will select option the large display, and the width will be one thousand and two hundred width. Okay. And then add news for another option E landscape tablet. No, no, I will select the portrait tablet. Okay, select one more for the Apple. I will select the option E iPhone 8. Another one for Apple is I iPad 4. And going to select option for Android. For this one, I will select the bigger one E. This one. And then the last one will be the. This one. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now back to the adaptive view pad here. You take a look into the right hand. We have a uh, in a style we have a uh, add adaptive view link here. You click on this one and then select the the setting set the view set you have the do the configuration before. You select this one. Okay. After you select 
the set you conf have the configured configures before so it have the adaptive view on the top here okay so so now you uncheck the effect on view because if you keep the effect on views checked it here so when you do some the modification in the large displaying it, it will also affect into the another tab here portrait iphone 8 ipad 4 blah blah here all of all of the chain will be affect to all of the view okay so set this one first and then i run it again resize this one yeah it's working but not good so now here we need to do some the uh, adjustment for the content on each view here okay firstly we select the last display the layout will be look better i select another option the portrait tablet yeah so when we select the portrait tablet the third column will be hidden so we, we need to adjust the layout here to make it look better something like this okay i will make it here and do the same thing for last one i save it okay i will select the iphone 8 here in iphone 8 only one column will be displaying so i need to access the first column and then the second column content okay i select the ipad 4 for the iPad 4, is it displaying two columns? Okay, and I will select the Galaxy at 10 The last one is Galaxy S9. Okay, let's do the review. It seems look better. So now here I will run this on browser. Okay, fully viewing is in the last displaying. It look good. One thousand and two hundred resolution. Okay. Another one portray here. Yeah. It's better. iPhone 8. iPad 4. Galaxy at 10. Galaxy S9 Okay Here So here When we do responsive on browser The content will be auto adjust Deploying on the web page So it looks very good okay so i think that's all for today and after if you need this video you know how to do some the setting for adaptive view on the browser by using azure for the prototype okay of course before we working with the adaptive view we need to have some the set 
preset set for the viewing on the page. Okay, I hope this video will be helpful for you. And let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and see you later. Thank you for watching.